Days are getting shorter, we've already done two of our piscines. Let's hop on this train and find out about one of our specializations. Das Internet is for us all Neuland. In 1888, Bertha Benz set out to prove that her husband's motor wagon was actually safe enough and ready to sell. That day, the first car manufacturer, Mercedes-Benz, was born. All right, uh, maybe I'm missing a few details and I'm not sure if I'm getting the dates correct, but fast forward and Germany is still known for its car culture and reliable vehicles. The German automotive industry consists of over 900 companies that have employed over 800,000 people. Brands like Volkswagen, Audi, Porsche, Mercedes and BMW, it's not BMW, are known worldwide and are all going through massive innovations currently. The shift into electric mobility and the transformation of turning vehicles into computers on wheels, the autonomous driving revolution and the rising connectivity of cars, one of the fastest growing features being adopted right now. In the past, the engine was the technological heart of the automobile. In the future, this will be software. And Audi's claim, Vorsprung durch Technik, might change into Vorsprung durch Software. Let me know what you think in the comments. As you might have guessed, we are in Wolfsburg capital of German automotive industry and home to our partner Volkswagen. We are here to talk about an advanced program at 42 called CIMI. CIMI is a program you can join once you finish core curriculum with 42 or if you already have coding skills and coding experience and you would like to develop it further. CIMI stands for Software Engineering in Automotive and Mobility Ecosystems. It's an advanced course where you learn how to program cars, but you also reshape the digital future of automotive innovation. The building behind me is a campus of 42 Wolfsburg, place where CIMI was created. A driving force behind it, Pratik, and a tech lead for 42 Wolfsburg, agreed to talk to us. Let's go inside and hear what he has to say. So CME is an OER, Open Educational Resource Program. And through this program, we create open source educational content in automotive software engineering. It is going to be an open source, open standard curriculum, master level curriculum, in which students can learn everything about automotive software engineering. We divided the CME program into sub-modules and the first module, Distributed Embedded Systems, deals with the technology within the car which involves communication between different ECUs, basically making a car a computer running on wheels. Autonomous Driving System deals with the autonomy of the vehicle. Students explore ADAS, uh, AI, machine learning, computer vision, virtual physics, all these topics and they try to get themselves familiar with the terminology of the autonomy. The third module is a mobility ecosystem module which is more like an environment outside the car. So it deals with the IoT, Internet of Things, V2C technology vehicle to cloud and V2X vehicle to vehicle technologies and the projects which can teach students about all this terminology and the concepts. Uh, in CME program, we have uh, 30 plus CME fellows. Those are experts from different automotive software engineering fields, and uh, they in turn help us to find the educational content, which is very much close to the current industry standards. We try to convert those ideas into an educational content, and ultimately uh, we come up with a curriculum, which is a master level uh, automotive software engineering curriculum, and uh, that is what our our students study. So in CME program the whole curriculum revolves around a learning object and this learning object has to be open source op easily available to the to our students and I do have a setup let me show that to you this is uh, the PyRacer which we give out to our students 
uh, which is nothing but uh, RC robot car powered by uh, Raspberry Pi and we attach cameras and sensors to it which are powered by Arduinos and we try to replicate the electronics control unit in the car ECUs and try to establish the communication between different ECUs using CAN communication. So basically this is a replica of what current technology is in the car and students use this uh, learning object to explore current automotive software engineering. If you are a student trying to explore what CME is, we have posts on Medium and we have our GitHub organization when you can have a look of all the projects, all the educational content and everything uh, the students are doing. If you have any questions, drop it. No. <laughs> If you have any questions, drop a comment below. Why am I excited about CME? Well, I'm super excited about our program because we are developing it here together with our partners, with stakeholders from industry and academia to have those vehicles interact amongst each other, but also to interact with the traffic infrastructure, the traffic lights, the charging stations, everybody needs to interoperate. And that's in fact exactly the same situation we had in the, uh, before the internet in the 70s and 80s when TCP IP came about to allow all these machines and networks and applications to interoperate. I think that is a key part that we can um, participate in in the innovation of the next generation mobility. Thank you all for watching and if you have enjoyed this video, please like it. Also follow us and if you have any questions, let us know below. Our next videos are going to cover the third PC at 42 Berlin. If you haven't done so already, sign up and join our coding adventure. <laughs>